going on guys it's Jake we're back again for another YouTube video so in the last video I mentioned a little something about the radio setup that had been in the red car so we have it in the shop right now we're gonna try to rewire the radio to the stock uh, head unit or the stock parameters and we also have a couple other things so we're gonna take the door panels off while we're doing the radio we're gonna install these Subaru window gussets so any of you guys that are familiar, these basically tend to leak air after about 100,000 miles or maybe not even that long. So I think this car has the original window gussets on it. So we're going to get them changed out. Hopefully that'll quieten up the ride a little bit. And we're also going to put the kill mat in the doors. So this is basically sound deadening material. So eventually we're going to do the entire section of the car, the entire rear of the car. And we're also going to do underneath the carpet and the seats and everything. So hopefully whenever I push a little more power with this thing, it won't be extremely loud and it'll still be a pretty nice and quiet ride. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'll put you on the time lapse. We're going to get the driver's door panel off first and we'll see what is behind there. Alright guys, so I just pulled the door panel off. There it is. So basically, you take the control panel out by one screw right there and then just prying it out. You take one screw out of here and you just pry it out as well. And then there's pops around the edges that will just come right on out. But um, yeah, we're in here now. So it does look like somebody has been in here before. Those are not the stock speakers. And all of this sound deadening material is not stock either which that means we won't have to install any of this, but we do have to figure out what all this is. So I'm gonna look into it a little more and try to figure it out. So thanks to the internet, you see there's two wires coming off there. It's saying that the brown with the white tracer is your hot and the green is your ground. So what I'm gonna do is strip these wires back a little bit and then I'm gonna run another set of wires over to the junction and hook them up and then we're gonna fire it up and see if it works and hope for the best. All right guys, so I basically took this factory harness and put string connectors on there and ran it over to this junction block that somebody else had installed. So hopefully there's power there and we're gonna see if the speakers are gonna work. Let's go ahead and fire it up. Hey, safe to say I'm pretty hyped. Yes, sir. Got the speaker working. So we're going to go ahead and shut the music off and get the window gusset changed. And yeah, so glad that fixed that. I've been riding around without a radio for so long. So yeah, I'm super excited about that. So we're going to heat those shrink connectors and then we're going to go ahead and get the window gusset changed. So we got these pieces shrinked. Now we had one screw right here, one screw in that hole, one screw in that hole. We have this one, we have the one in this hole, we have the one in this hole, we have the one down here. And then the window gusset should come off. So yeah, stay tuned. So we got the old window gusset out. You can see how it's cracked here at the top. So that is no good. So a brand new one, we're about to put her in. So yeah, stay tuned. So we have the window gusset secured in the four holes here. One, two, three, and down here at four. So we're gonna go ahead and put the mirror back on. There's just one, two, and three. And we're gonna plug the mirror back in. And then we're gonna put the door panel back on and we're gonna do the other side. So yeah, stay tuned. All right, guys, so we got the whole entire door panel back on. Everything went on smoothly. So yeah, super excited about that. Luckily, the Dynamat was already back there, so I didn't have to put any of the sound deadening stuff in there. And 
we got the new window gusset on. So hopefully that should quieten up the ride a good bit. And we got the new speaker working as well, or the old speaker that's new to me that just started working. So yeah, we got that going. So that is good, that side's done. So now we're gonna come over to the passenger side. And I'm hoping that there's gonna be sound deadening on this side as well, because I think there's an aftermarket speaker over here. So we're gonna take the door panel off this side and see what's behind there. We got rid of this wire and I hooked the factory harness up to the junction. So now the speaker should play again, but I'm just gonna rely on that it does play. So we're gonna go ahead and change the window gusset now for the passenger side. So we got that door panel back on. I got the time lapse for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And a couple things I wanna talk about that are gonna happen in the car soon before I let you guys go. You see how sloppy this is? Like even when it's in a gear, see how much it moves side to side? That is unacceptable. So we are gonna go ahead and put the Cartboy shifter bushings and the short throw shifter in the red car. So. Yeah, that is also gonna be happening soon. So stay tuned for that video. Maybe the next one, I'm not quite sure yet, but also we're gonna be doing the whole inside of the car with the kill mat, like I originally said in the beginning of the video. So yeah, stay tuned for that as well. That will be in an upcoming video. But yeah, that will be where we will conclude for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.